Hi. Well, I'm out here today around a uh, pawpaw that I had transplanted in 2018. And what I wanted to do is to show you what I did. Now, I have some graphs, as you can see, as I am pointing at them. They have rubber bands around them. And what I did, only as a test, because as I said, I'm learning. And as I learn, I want to share with you what it is that I learned. Now, I know that when you plant up against uh, a tree as far as mulch and stuff like that, you garter that tree up. And whenever I put the rubber bands around these grabs, it was the intentions of holding that that union between the rootstock and the uh, scion wood to make sure that they had good contact. And today, uh, I decided to remove some of the rubber bands. Now I have a graph back here. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'll let the leaf up. The rubber band had uh, rotted away and uh, I, I went ahead and took it off and I rewrapped it with parafilm to try to hold moisture inside the union itself. Now, I did that with these, cut the rubber band away uh, on like three unions that I did. I top worked this tree, uh, as you all know, and it's a total of 10 grafts. And I'm thinking, all right, let's get rid of what I would consider to be garter and see what happens. If these three really do well, well then I'm gonna look into the possibility of removing the rubber bands off of some of the other grafts. This graft, by the way, had been done May 23rd 2020 and it is a sunflower variety with that being said I have somebody who is with me today uh, my wife's aunt or my wife's uh, nephew but you know what take that back he's my nephew Justin come on up here <clears throat> now Justin's been out here uh, a few times over the years, well, quite a few times over the years. We've been married for quite a few years. And he has uh, firsthand witnessed a lot of things that I've done over the years. And one of them being as I've gotten into this little tree called a pawpaw. You got anything you want to ask me, Jeff? Sure. Uh, I, for one, didn't know what the hell a pawpaw was, so can you explain to some people who may not, like myself, know what it is? What exactly is a pawpaw tree? A pawpaw uh, is an original uh, fruit tree of uh, Ohio and America. Uh, I'm not going to try to uh, say the botanical name, uh, something triolia or whatever, but it's a tree that is native to the United States. Uh, that has a fruit that is tropical-like. It is probably one of the tropical fruits that grow furthest into the United States. And which, by the way, I did find out in either 2008, 2009, it was categorized as uh, the Ohio straight or state uh, fruit, which a lot of people don't know what that is. They have no idea what a pawpaw is, but it's the Ohio State fruit. Wow. Ain't that something? Yeah, that's interesting. I had no idea. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I'll tell you what. What uh, what made you get into uh, growing these and caring for these? Well, as a lot of you may uh, well know uh, through my YouTube page, I have quite a few pawpaws uh, planted throughout my property. I have seven acres, and out of that seven acres, uh, oh, as far as what's in ground, I probably have about 70, 80 pawpaws, give or take a few. But I also have other trees 
I've taken a liking, <coughs> excuse me, to uh, a lot of uh, different trees. I have oak, I have persimmons, I have chestnuts. Uh, it's just something that I got into and then uh, I first started with chestnuts and then with oak and then with uh, the persimmons and it all translated into pawpaw. I have an uncle that uh, is very, very uh, in deep with the pawpaw tree and I go to his place every year and I collect fruit. Pretty good eat. Indeed, indeed, I tell you. I can't wait to try them because I've never had pawpaw before, but I heard it's got an interesting taste. And um, one, one more question I got for you. What is one of the coolest things or something cool about these that people may not know? Well, like I said before, it's a uh, pawpaw. Uh, the pawpaw is a tree uh, that's been uh, in this country for decades on top of decades. And it was a tree uh, that people, uh, when they first came here, originally uh, relied upon as far as uh, a food and uh, source. And your Native Americans relied on this tree. And which, by the way, if uh, memory serves me right with what I've studied, Lewis and Clark, uh, when they traveled, uh, as they ran out of provisions, they had to rely on this uh, particular fruit as part of their uh, provisions. And it's just a tree that uh, really, really intrigued me. Uh, the renaissance of the pawpaw is coming back. Uh, a lot of people are getting turned on to it. A lot of people are wanting to look into what, what is a pawpaw? Well, it's a tropical fruit that lives in the northern hemisphere of this country. And it's amazing whenever you really get into looking into pawpaws, uh, what it is you're looking at. This one right here in particular <coughs> was a wild uh, seed type uh, pawpaw that I had taken from an individual years ago. It was a root sucker. And I planted it by my uh, driveway. It accidentally got cut down uh, 2008, 2009. And I left the area alone. It came back up. And then somebody posted, oh, transplanting something is six, seven foot tall. Uh, any uh, ideas? And that prompted me to, you know what? I'm going to transplant this tree. I transplanted this in 2018, uh, the fall of 2018, had family members, had a three foot root ball, and it took off, and I decided, you know what, unknown variety, turn it into a known variety, give it something uh, as far as what I want. I tell you, it sounds good, looks good, and... Um his trees are well taken care of. He's got plenty of them around. So make sure you subscribe <coughs> and keep updated on what he's got going on. Because I tell you what, I can't wait to uh, to uh, try these. And uh, they look great. So thank you for having me. Hey, while we're standing here, something I wanted to show you. You see that little bud right there? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, that looks like a flower set for next year. But you want to know something? What? I'm not going to let that produce a flower next year. If that comes out as a flower, I'm going to knock it off. Why? It is because it's too young. Mm. Can't let it produce a flower. I'll give it. Ah, and you know what? I'll give this tree two, maybe three years, and be able to uh, uh, have fruit production on it. And that's what I'm looking for. It'll have flowers. If that's a flower set, that and that. You know, if that's a flower set, I'll let the flower set come out and bloom, and I'll utilize that flower set to uh, pollinate the larger tree I have behind me. But once I'm done pollinating that tree, 
I'm going to knock them flower sets off. Why? Because I want the energy to go back into that tree. But anyways, everything being said and shared. My name's Jim. If you like what you see, subscribe. Don't forget to click on that bell for notifications. Y'all have a God-blessed day.